go. Here we go. Smith on strike. An enormous total to chase down. And he's got someone about 150 screaming in. Oh, that'll be a, a bit of a help. Big roar from the crowd here. Capacity crowd, 32,000 people. And South Africa open their account. Chopped it on. Lost a wicket early. Nathan Bracken did the business in Durban. And he started by getting dip and art today. Bit of fortune to go with it there. Inside edge, Dippenau looking to get it down his third man. It's a fairly foolish delivery. And he'll count himself very unlucky on this sort of pitch to get out in that fashion. Well, you know, the hero out of the Durban innings, he has to leave. But Dippenau gone for one. So that begin now, three for one. Herschel Gibbs has arrived, taking guard. Nathan Bracken has struck in his first over. Gibbs, very experienced these days, 185 games. Average a little bit lower than what it should be for someone of his ability. But he has got 1500s. That's an important stat to remember. Graham Smith. If they get off, there might be a chance. That's good. That's four. Might be another boundary. Is another boundary. Back to back boundaries now for Graham Smith. Eight runs off the first two balls. That's away and four. Driving on the up. Beautiful shot from Gibbs. Inside edge. Not far away from the stumps. And he'll take that. Down the track and just over the top of Michael Clark, and that's four. Well, it wasn't going to take too much longer. Herschel Gibbs. 13 from 14 right now. And that strike rate's going to have to be somewhere up 100. He's got to keep it going right up there. Gone again. And four more back-to-back -back boundaries for Gibbs. It's a good shot from Herschel Gibbs. He's got that away beautifully. Nice and flat for six. So there's a six off the first ball of the over. Bradley is bowling some pretty tidy pace, 145.5 k's per hour, and Gibbs is looking to play some strokes. Nice position for that. And into the stand on the short boundary. Right, so uh, 47 for one. Gibbs on 24 of 25. Smith gets it away, that'll go to the boundary for four as well. That's well played. Right. Now we need the South African captain to come to the party. He's got 20 of 12, so he's going pretty well. They just need to keep these boundaries coming. Oh, that's uh, a magnificent shot. It's gone through the fingers there of the, shot, the close fieldsman. It was hit so well, it's gone to the boundary for four. 57 for one. That's what played, that's beautifully played. Steered to the boundary for four. Well played. That's the area he loves. Don't pitch it up without a deep mid-wicket. Smith's uh, going well because he'll dispatch it in that area. Well, he's got it away, that's four. Take that, short delivery. And it got the treatment it deserved. Oh, well played. That's four. Left-handers love you to pitch it outside that leg stump without a fine leg. They only allowed one back on that side. They've one back on each side. They've uh, got a third man, and their man on the leg side is dead square. Well, we'll keep an eye on what the uh, comparison was after 10 overs, after 50, and after 20. South Africa ahead at the moment. shot he's hit that one over the top bouncing away down to the boundary well he knew exactly what was needed this over it's uh, spoiled it a bit for Lewis 89 for one straight down the ground and it's beaten him it's four well there's the boundary for this over that's seven off the over 25 runs ahead at this stage South Africa Just 
46 deliveries. Brilliant. Muscled to bring up 50. Well played, Graham Smith. That's a fine reply. And a deserving applause from his home crowd. Well played, four runs. Very good placement. It's a full toss. He's edged it and he's got himself another boundary. Goodness me, this is quite remarkable. Four runs, beautifully played. That is a very good shot indeed. That's what they need to do. It's a situation where a few balls are bowled, the pressure builds up, they need a boundary, they look for it and they get it. Well played, 145 for one. It's a good shot. One bounce four. Open the blade perfectly, Herschel Gibbs. He didn't move, he knew that was going. That's a fine stroke. He's hit that beautifully and that's gone. A long way back for half a dozen. Not five rows, not ten, not twenty. More than that. Almost right out the ground. Way, way back. Simons bowled the slower ball. Smith waited for it. And bang. There he goes again, and he's too big a man not to get it out of the park. Graham Smith is going to play an innings which will be equal to Ricky Ponting's. 85 or 50 deliveries. Here we go. I think it's fast in your seatbelts, Tom. Yes, it sure is. It's such a great pitch. You can hit through it with all confidence. And up here on the high felt. Ball travels a long way. And after shots like that, there certainly will be another one out the park. I don't know what the record number of sixes is in a one-day game, but this will be pretty close. 190 for one. Out. Now he's at the turning point. Look at the delight on Michael Clark's face, and more importantly, Michael Hussey's he really thinks that might be a big wicket and it certainly might be just not getting onto it, Graham Smith. And he's gone. Unlucky. I think this was what that debate was about. Clark going around the wicket, asking Smith to come and fetch it out the whole stump. Smith favours the leg side. This time though, not quite getting all of it. Dragging it straight to that man. Well, the captain has stood back. Not the greatest day in the field. That's superb with the bat. So there we go, 190 for two. In the air and out the park. What a response after a wicket. They crossed, so Gibbs facing, he goes to 90. Looking at the toe of his bat, that's how good the bats are today. Michael Clark, Rice smile. I'll keep talking about that sixes, Barry Richards. That's 19 now. There he goes. The power play got him up. I'm going to go over the top. Enough of this, he says. Well, Usha Gibbs isn't going to change his game. Maybe near a milestone. I have to agree with him. And this is the way to go. If the opportunity presents itself, you can't let that stand in the way of what the team needs. Brilliant shot, it's, it's uh, on. And he's done it so well today already. 97 now to Gibbs. And if he does go to 100, this crowd will erupt. About one ball from now, maybe two. There it is. Just one, 16 ODI hundreds for Herschel Gibbs, but his job's not over yet. It's far from over, but for now, they're going to celebrate with him. A superb innings. When it's needed most by his side, he's come to the party. Look at that, 79 balls, a brilliant strike rate. And isn't it good to see Usher gives him form? There he goes again. More runs. Stand and deliver. That's a home run over third base. Brilliant.
brilliant strike from Mercer Gibbs. That's not all that short off the front foot. He's on out that area. Like that. More runs. Gilchrist has got to stand up to the stumps. He will not do it. And his bowlers have paid the penalty. He's got to get up because they're using the, their feet to get out there. They're creating a different length. You've got to pull them back. Look where Herschel Gibbs is. He's right out of his crease. Don't know what they're doing. They're not thinking clearly, the Aussies. And you can understand why. There's pressure from the South African batsmen. Again, Ponting having a chat to Lewis. There he goes again. He's selected his area and that's on the offside. As much as Ricky Ponting puts it through mid-wicket, so Herschel Gibbs puts it through cover. There we go again. That's the arrow he said he was going for. You can't protect it up in the ring because he just goes up and over. You've got to make sure that it's in the block hole, otherwise you pay big time. And that's down to third man. That's four more. What an over this has been. 242 for two. In the air, and he, oh, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. Oh, could he have dropped the trophy? Is it the case of this time it's the other way around? Could Bracken have dropped the cup, so to speak? Listen to the cheers in the background. Well, full toss miss hit straight to him, as easy as you can get in these kind of games. If you were Gibbs, you'd have to walk down and say it to him, wouldn't you? You better believe it. <laughs> you'd have to have gone down there and said it to him. What a shot, straight down the ground, and that seriously relieves the pressure. 2.53 for two. Right, well, uh, there it is, Callus Kemp Boucher, all very capable. No Pollock, but um, Callus Kemp and Boucher, they're all capable of uh, keeping the momentum going here. 182 needed off 132 balls. The power play is now over so the field can spread out. And that makes it just a little harder to get boundaries. Oh, good shot. Very good shot. He gave him a bit of room there. Take that. Gibbs has blasted that away to the point boundary. He moves to 136 off 95 balls. What an innings he's playing here. An innings of a lifetime. There we go. It hits the way on the onside. Will it beat the field? Yes, it has. It's full as well. Martin diving away. Didn't quite get there. Oh, boy. When you start to see the fast bowlers jabbering away, then you know things are starting to change. Well, it looked like a Sydney Harbour Bridge there, the way he dived over there. I've got to tell you, Tony. That's where you live. Look at that. Oh, what's going on? Oh, he's hit that one beautifully. One bounce, I think, for four. Superb shot. Over cover. That's, the one. That's exactly what he's got to do. Stay put on leg stump or middle of the leg. If it's out there, pick his gap. Hit it over the head of the infielder. Well, with fine leg up in the circle, the bowler cannot go too straight. So you really, you more or less know he's going to go off stump just outside. That's gone! That's gone him way, way up! A huge six! Well, who would believe what is happening here? The most sixes in a match is 21. And they've now got to 21. And Gibbs has gone to 150. What a stroke. Fetch there. Oh boy, what a shot. Perhaps it wasn't the message. <laughs> That's an unbelievable shot. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What can you say? No, oh, he's hit that. It's in the air. This is going to be caught. Will it be caught? Yes, he's gone. That's the end of De Villiers going for the big one. I think it's the right bloke to be going for them. De Villiers going for the big one at mid on. And uh, again, nicely taken on the boundary. Never easy when the rope is nearby. No, not at all. He just didn't get hold of it. Went too high. He did well. Steady himself and then just had a look to see he was inside the clock. It's good. But uh, Nathan Bracken gets a wicket. So De Villiers goes for 14. 284 for three. And so um, Callis, a man of immense experience, 231 matches, have a look at all those runs, an average of 44, plenty of centuries. Uh, the good thing about this is that uh, Callis should uh, know exactly what's required. Here's the dismissal again. Said it was a good catch. That's in the air and there's a fieldsman down there but it's gone all the way. Well, there's no doubt that uh, what you're saying is the way he's going to play it. I'm still not sure that it's the right way to go, though. Well, you just keep watching. <laughs> and he'll keep middling it, hopefully. That's one heck of a shot. Well, that six makes it the most sixes in any one-day international ever. Right. Simon's to him again. And again. Oh, that's a bigger six. That was a rank full toss. It's a question of help yourself at the moment. Yeah, the buffet ball. This has got out of hand now for Ricky Ponting. You look around the ground, but that shot, well, I reckon a couple of Thailanders got hit that. In the air, and that's it. Well, I'm afraid to say that section of the party has come to an end. He's hit two sixes. He did what you thought he would do. He did... Uh, I really think that he should have uh, he should have hung in there a little bit. However, that doesn't detract from one of the great innings of all time. He's wandering off this ground, having been caught by Lee off the bowling of Simons for 175. That was a superb performance. Well played, Hershey. As good as innings as anyone has seen here. He goes for 175. And 299 for four now into that famous tunnel. Hundred and thirty-six to win from eighteen point one. Well squeezed yeah, away. Squeezed it away. Sorry, Michael. We're all getting excited in the box here. <laughs> we just can't, can't get enough of these boundaries. Every time we look up, the ball's disappearing. And that's not what Ricky Ponting wants to see. Jack Cullis underway. Six balls he's faced. He's got ten runs. Catch. Yeah! Great catch. Brilliant catch. Andrew Simons is an outstanding fielder. Effortless. And taking that return catch. The end of Callis. Yeah, very good catch. He was ready for it because he's throwing the ball up. He knows there's every chance the batsman won't uh, be able to get right to the pitch of it. A lot slower. Jacques Callis looking to go over the top. And Andrew Simons has snaffled it. And that uh, brings it back to an even keel. Jacques Cullis, the number one batsman in the world. He's gone. 327 for five. The game's on. Big round of applause now for Justin Kemp. He has a reputation, Kemp. This is uh, just about the time he likes to come out and bat and likes to hit the ball straight, high and long. South Africans desperately needed it. The boundaries have dried up. In the air, out. Got him. Big wicket. 
Camp has trapped it straight to backward point. A slowish, really cutter comes spinner from uh, the left-handed Bracken. And he's got his man. The real danger at this stage, uh, there'd certainly be some that would say was Kemp. But uh, it's not going to be. This is the wicket again. Yeah, this is good bowling from Bracken. Kemp eyeing out that extra cover region. And in the end, only spooning it. The lack of pace being his undoing. And that is well taken as well by... Uh, Damien Martin at backward point. 3.55 now for six. So Fanavad is the new batsman. An average of 15. We know he can hit it. Straight down the ground. That's going for six. That's gone. Yes! That's gone for six. That relieves the pressure a little bit and doubles the pressure on the ball. Well, I was just going to say, so they've got to win it. You can't accuse them of choking. It's been a brilliant performance from them. It was so superb up front. Now, I'm going to say, another three or four overs from front of Oh, he's hit that one magnificently. What a shot. It's gone all the way for six. That is an outstanding shot. 16 off the over. Unbelievable. 374 for six. Beautifully into position, taken the catch, and uh, well, that might alter it. It'll certainly put the skids under the South Africans just a little bit. Yeah, this is a great catch. I can tell you about many fielders. This sort of situation won't want the ball anywhere near them. Not Ricky Ponting. That's a good pressure catch. And that is a fine little innings. You're in front of a crowd appreciate it. 35 of 18. 399 now for seven. Roar goes up as Tamarcus strides onto the ground. They weren't exactly roaring when he was bowling. This place was as quiet as a mouse. Sweep shot for great shot. Wonderful shot. Well, he's obviously decided whatever that was, he was going to sweep it. That has taken the pressure off. They needed a boundary there. Telemarcus decided to sweep. Probably the first time he's ever played this shot. Have a look at this from outside off stuff. It's a beauty. Man, if you had asked him to play this again, he'd probably miss it. I reckon he was thinking like a bowler, anticipating that Bracken was going to go full and straight. Smashed away the mid-wicket. It's going to go for four. Yes, it's hit the boundary. Gacha is playing an unbelievable knot. He's done this so often. 35. Slightly over-pitched and he's whacked it to mid-wicket. 35 he's got off 35 deliveries. Works it away on the onside. It's another four. Bracken's chasing. He won't get there. The noise in the stadium is unbelievable. Every shot has been cheered with a standing ovation. He's hit it. He's hit it like a rocket. What a shot. Boy, is he strong. It's gone for four to extra cover. 
Lewis has taken a terrible tumbling. They're on their feet, the South Africans. Absolutely everywhere. The flags are flying here at the ball ring. Spare a thought for the bowler. He has disappeared to every corner of the Wanderers. You have to question Ricky Ponting continuing with him. It's in the air. This has got to be out, surely. No, it's going to be short. Oh, it's a great catch. Wonderfully taken. Well, Hussey is an unbelievable fieldsman. He has taken that beautifully. He had a come in miles. It's the very thing the South Africans didn't want to see happen was a wicket to go down because now they get into a situation where there's just a possibility they'll get bowled out. Look at Hussey go. Inches off the ground. Brilliantly taken. Well, what a game. Four twenty three fights. Well, one of them is Andrew Hall coming out elsewhere. You want to make sure they get in the nets and have their fair share. <laughs> But he wanted a man for a crisis situation, or a tough one. Get back Andrew all any day. He's done it so many times at provincial level, and for South Africa. I think he's just the perfect guy right now for Boucher. He's literally run a ball. Somewhere along the line, in those 10 deliveries, South Africa should pick up the boundary. And Roger Telemark, because maybe it wasn't quite on, but he couldn't hold himself back. Great catch. Final leg is up, so don't stray down the leg side, Brickley. Cover, mid-wicket, backward point. It's the only sweepers, square and straight, third man. You're right, final leg is wide open. Boucher gets it down to final leg, he's got four. He's hit it, oh, it's hit Brickley on the shin. Just a single. Boy. That uh, could quite easily have gone rocketing away down the ground and that's hit him square on the shin too. He, he hit it so well, I think it went rocket, rocketing into is it his shin or his ankle. He'll take time out here, that's for sure. Well, let's just uh, bear in mind there's a test match uh, series coming up as well. That was on the foot. I've got to say, thankfully for his sake, anywhere near the ankle it could have been a lot worse. Well, on the shin even. We did well. I mean, he actually stuck his foot out uh, to stop that. So, I mean, that really, you've got to give him some credit for that. Yeah, it was a certain boundary. I mean, Boucher hit it powerfully. Middle and middle for middle, particularly wide. Middle one's a bit straighter than normal. But you still would have thought that that would have been a boundary. Yeah, we are in the last over. We've got six runs required or five balls. We're in. Uh, we're in a packed stadium in Johannesburg. We've got Brett Lee, one of the fastest bowlers in the world. We've got eight wickets down. If they lose a wicket, we'll be down to the, uh, the ninth, and therefore they just need to get another one. Gilchrist is uh, trying to help Ponting a little bit, uh, just trying to get one or two of them in the right place. They've now pushed fine leg back down to the boundary for Hall. So fine leg and third man are in position. Here he goes. What can Andrew Hall do? should definitely win. What a brilliant day's cricket. We keep saying it. We'll have to watch this many, many times over. Man for the pressure situation. Still, he's picked his gap. And now Ponting's got no option but to bring those fielders in. He's got to take the gamble. He's got to ask Hall to try and do that again. Surely. The two to win. It's a matter of bat on ball, run hard, and that should be enough. Who would ever have thought that Australia would lose a match defending 434? And Boucher, he's down the wicket to have a chat to Hall. Let's maybe for a moment consider that idea. Now to lose the chokers. <laughs> 
Well, I think it, it's fair enough. They'll be looking for one. I'm sure that's what Bart just said. Block and run. Oh, he's had a go. He's out. Oh, he's out. That's the last thing they wanted. He's out. This match is not over yet. There's a little bit of a twist here. There's no way in the world that they could have crossed in time. So the last batsman in is going to have to face the music here. And so there is still a chance that the Australians could sneak in. Here's the shot. He didn't. I'm sure that wasn't the plan. The plan was surely a single. It had to be, it had to be a question of just getting better onto it. Maybe as it left the hand, Hall thought, well, that's in the slot. Maybe I can get away with it. 4.33 for nine. Well, the big thing here is that Bouch hasn't got a strike. Number 11, Mackay and Tini, he's got to face the music. Two from three. Right, well, two to get. Three balls. One for a tie. So they've got to secure the tie and then win after that. So... They've got to go for a single here. Oh, he's got a single. He's got it the third man. Right, now then. They need one of two balls. South Africa cannot lose. They have tied the match right here. Now it's a question of winning it. The biggest shot in Mackay and Tinny's life. The little nudge down in third man for one. And they deserve that. What a brilliant performance. Okay, Mark Boucher, he deserves this moment of glory. It's been a great knock under pressure. You've got to say, Tony, you've got to back him to pull it off. Yeah, well, he doesn't He doesn't want to go and do anything silly. I mean, all he needs is a single here. Uh, and they don't want to run out. Superb victory. Well, I've been around the world watching this game. Look, their tears. They are crying out there. The South Africans are charging out onto the, onto the ground. Giltris shakes hands with Boucher. Ntini's on a high. Ponting cannot believe this has happened to his team. The South Africans at the bull ring today have seen the best one day international ever played. Well, we won't question Tony Craig. He's seen many. And what a great result here for South Africa. Mackay and Tini gave Boucher the strike. And that's been a long time coming. So much said of late about the South African side under pressure. They backed themselves. They had no choice but to go for it. And they pulled off one of the great victories of all time. And they deserve that celebration. But all credit to both sides. It's been a fantastic, fantastic watch. Uh, match to watch. Can you believe it? Ricky Ponting, 434. He won't want that step behind his name. Losing captain. We'll see a celebration which we haven't seen from a serving side for a long time. Brings back memories of the 99 World Cup. One to win. And Australia pulled that off. But today, it's been South Africa's day. Yes, you're dead right. And out in the centre there, uh, to do it right at the end of Dalian. And a Selbornian, can you believe it? <laughs> And uh, Pollock, who hadn't played in this game, is out there uh, really congratulating everyone. Well, he'll never forget this one, nor should he ever forget it. Look at the smiling face. What a team man he is, Sean Pollock. And Andrew Hall saying, mate, sorry to let you in, but uh, thanks for doing it. That is the performance of the South African batsman. Dipinar out early. Smith played superbly. Gibbs played the best innings he's ever played in one day international cricket. And the rest of them kept the pressure coming. They kept the runs ticking over. And Boucher then came in and finished it off with some seriously good help from Vandavat in particular. And uh, those partnerships at the top end really set the scene. Smith and Gibbs needed to get them to uh, a decent position so that they could keep things going. Tactically, with the bat, the South Africans were superb. These do not make good reading.
It's not often that bowlers uh, get kited around to the extent they have, and I'm not just talking about the Australians, both sides uh, had their bowlers cleaned up. But uh, the uh, worst figures ever, no wicket for 113 there, now secured by Lewis, the Australian. And as uh, the summary, well there it is, they scored 434, batting first, having won the toss, and they actually lost the match. South Africa fought back right down to the wire. Second last ball, the match was won.